So 127 adding and subtracting with standard form. So I think these are probably the hardest part of standard form. You've just got to be really careful when you see a plus or like the next question, you're gonna see a minus that you don't follow the same rules of just blindly times the numbers together and then adding the powers or divide the numbers and taking the powers away. Add means you've got to turn both of these numbers. So if you see add and subtracting, turn into ordinary numbers. So let's do the first one. So eight times 10 to the power of seven, eight decimal points there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the first one. To that I'm adding six times 10 to the power of five. So I'm gonna have a six and then five zeros. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So check it, decimal points there. One, two, three, four, five. So you'll notice I've lined them up so that I can do an, an addition using the column. So zero, 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 six, zero, eight. So that's the same as those two added together. I've done the first part. These are normally two marks at GCSE. First mark for adding them and getting a number, and then the second part for making sure that you do it into standard form. So how do we turn this to standard form? 8.06, because you want a number two, one and 10. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just check that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're doing 8.06 times 10 to the power of seven. Remember, power is positive because it's a big number. Okay, second one. It's time you got minuses. So remember, when you're writing the numbers down, you've got to go the opposite way. So we're turning it into ordinary numbers. So this one, six minus seven as a power means you're gonna go the opposite way. So decimal points there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, decimal point goes there, zero at the front, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm adding to that, six times 10 to the minus five, six goes there. This time, one, two, three, four, five. So it'll be one, two, three, four, zero. Notice decimal points aren't lined up, so I'm gonna write them out lined up. And the second one, four zeros, and six goes there. And I'm adding. So what do we do when I've got blanks? Well, I fill in with zeros. So add them. Okay, so then turn it to standard form again. So that'll be a mark, second mark for standard form. So number between one and 10, 6.06, times by 10 to the power of, so remember if it's a small number, then it's gonna be a negative power. So what do we do to get from where the decimal point is to where you put it to make a number between one and 10? One, two, three, four, five. So this is gonna be minus five as a power. And finally, negative powers, net a takeaway in between. These are a little bit trickier. So again, first thing, as we did before, we got to turn into an ordinary number. So we're turning this to an ordinary number. Seven decimal points there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Decimal point in, two zeros here at the front. And then minus, then this one into um, ordinary number. So we're gonna have a four. I'm gonna go back five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've done a lot of practice on that. Most of you are getting them right. If you're still stuck on converting to ordinary numbers and standard form, please go back and have a go at click one, two, two, and one, two, three again. So again, decimal points aren't lined up. So 0 0.007, line them up. One, two, three, four, from there. 
and four on the end. Again, fill in zeros, I'm doing take away. So, zero take away four. Well, we can't do that, so we're gonna have to go across to the seven, and take one off, make that 10, cross off, make nine, put one to the end. 10 take away four is six. Nine take away zero is nine. Six take away zero is six. And then the rest is gonna fill in with zeros. First part done, one mark. Second mark is to change to standard form. So remember, number between one and 10. Where do you put the decimal point? We've gone one, two, three, times 10, minus three. And that's done. If you don't get that first time, try the clip again. Watch the clip again, because remember what I said, these are probably the hardest ones. Okay, your turn to have a go.